Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today I need to make an office asset pack for a commission and uh, they didn't really give me a list of what to do. They just said an office asset pack. So before we get in, make sure to drop a like and we are going to be modeling some pretty random office supplies. I want to start out with a pencil sharpener, but the kind that you have to actually use your hand for. So to do that, I'm going to do S and Z to scale this down. And we will do S and Y to scale it this way a little bit. Perfect. And I'm going to need the hole on this side as well as this side. So I think I'll add two loop cuts, something along those lines. Scale those on the Y axis just to make it a little bit thicker. Grab this face and I'm going to make that face a selection. Now I can turn this into the blade itself. So S and Y, I forgot. I'm going to need to cut a top in this as well. All right, so I looked up a reference image and progress is definitely being made. I've been using the Boolean modifier. I never really know how to say that, but you already know. It's all good. Boolean right here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this and then click on this. And hopefully, uh, I should have made it a little bit deeper. So we're just going to bring this back a little deeper and then hide it. Yeah, that works. Not exactly centered. So I will once again redo that. Alright, so something like that is about what I was going for. Now I just need to add a blade on the top and maybe some little grippers on the side and the pencil sharpener will be done. Alright guys, so the blade for the uh, little pencil sharpener thing is done. I just have to line it up now, so that should not be too, too hard. I'm just going to go into like my different uh, perspectives and try my best. Let me go to wireframe mode, give this a little rotate. Alright, go back into my solid view to check it out. So it looks like I could make it a little bit longer in both directions. It needs to go in this way, a hair, and then this itself I can go ahead and make a bit longer, as well as the other side. Alright, so there's like a pretty basic pencil sharpener. I want to add the little hand grippers on the side though. Alright guys, so for the last step of the pencil sharpener, I just made a 64-sided cylinder and extruded every other face like this. And that should give us a pretty good looking like grip. So I'm going to make one of these on each side. Just like that. I'm going to do control J to join them together. And then I will add another boolean modifier onto this. Select our object we want out. And then hide it. Now as you can see, we have the little finger grippers. So you can actually hold on to it. I think it turned out pretty good actually. So... What do we want to move on to next? We'll get the pencil sharpener out of the way, and I guess it would make sense to go ahead and make a pencil. So, let me get this uh, just for my own sake. Back up to the top. There we go. And uh, now let's make a pencil, which will be super, super easy. All right, guys, here's the goal. I'm going to do a speedrun pencil, okay? So, mesh, cylinder, definitely not 64 sides. We could go more along, like, six sides? Yeah, definitely. I could do eight just to give it a little bit more class. But, uh, yeah, yeah, let's do eight. Let's do eight. Here we go. I'm just going to grab this, stretch it. Perfect. Grab right down here. Extrude. Scale zero. There we go. We have a point. Nice. Now, I could put another little uh, spot right here. And I want to grab some of those vertices. Do GG to slide along the vertice edge. Because, as we know lead in a pencil is not uh it's not perfect like it, it wouldn't be a straight edge like that so we're gonna do something like this and i'm doing a gg once again just to slide right on that vertice so there we go that is the bottom half of our pencil now we just need the top half and yes i know it's thick but we can always size that down so it will not be too big of a problem i want to do e and s to extrude something like that and then i'll do i just to inset it a little bit extrude the top as well and then control b to bevel for the eraser something along those lines now i'm going to scale this down to make it more uh pencily and i believe it could be scaled sort of uh like that now it's a lot thinner for for it being ac an actual pencil also the eraser should not be that big and let's do one of these select the individual ones of these uh this would normally be a little bit higher poly but I'm trying to just keep it real, real minimal. Let's extrude faces, and we're just going to drop those ones back. Just like that. And we can color that in studio, so uh, I guess I need to separate it up a little bit. All right, we got the eraser. We got the chrome piece. We got the pencil itself. 
Nice. And then we need to grab this, which will be like uh, the lighter color of the pencil. And then this. So there we go. Speed run the pencil, guys. There it is. Let's put that over with the sharpener. Now, in all reality, we're just needing stuff to fill up an office space. So, I think a clipboard would be a great addition for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, uh, the primary reason, honestly. It's very easy. Uh, a clipboard is honestly nothing. We'll even bevel the edges so we can feel cool. Something just like that. And then, of course, we will need the little uh, actual clip to make it a, you know, clipboard. All right, just like that, the clipboard is done. Let's add that to our little assets over here looking good all right what do i want to do up next i guess i should turn this sideways as well just to kind of match it up with the rest of the pack here there we go and bring this over all right we got a pencil sharpener a pencil a clipboard we could do we need to do a stapler i guess i guess the stapler will kind of wrap things up here so let me go ahead and make one of those all right guys so by no means is this the coolest stapler ever made but i do think it turned out pretty good so I am going to make these a selection, so let's join those together. And uh, this can be the same color as... Oh, yikes. I need to grab this selection. These two things can be the same color. I'm just getting things prepped for studio. So, and uh, control J. I guess those could be the same color as well. So now we have one, two, three pieces and a stapler. So that's really, really dope. Of course, sizing, uh, you know, pencil compared to sharpener and uh sharpener compared to everything really sizing will all be changed in studio guys i think i want to make one more model though i'm having a lot of fun i was gonna stop it there but i want to think of something else all right i think i got it last thing i want to make is going to be a calculator guys once again should be a pretty simple mesh but uh it just adds a lot more life and possible colors honestly because i mean you know you could do anything with a calculator so let me go ahead. Oh, yikes. All right. So for a calculator, let's see. Let's drag this down because it definitely doesn't need to be that thick. And this seems a bit wide as well. There we go. And I want to have a bit of a curve in this. So let's add a loop cut. We'll put it uh, about up here. That should work fine for me. And I'm going to drag this up just a hair. And I don't think I have to rotate this, but I'm going to just to uh, kind of make the effect better i suppose if that makes sense all right so we have this i want to switch this to local which uh didn't change anything why all right well i guess my my little things don't want to work right now so that's okay i'm gonna go ahead make this into the best calculator you have ever seen and by that i mean yeah you should be able to do the quick maths on it so let's do shift d here to duplicate that face something along these sort of lines and of course it will take up the whole of the top so we're going to scale this on the y-axis something like that nice and we will do p selection just to make sure that that can be colored separately in a roblox studio now we have buttons and i want to say the easiest way to do buttons is just going to be subdivide like so and inset maybe i don't I don't like want to inset, but I feel like this would just be the simplest way. All right, guys, peep what I'm throwing down, okay? Boom. All right. And then we're just going to be selecting some of them. So like the inner ones here, selecting these ones, pulling them up just a little bit, and then extruding them. All right. And I mean, yeah, it looks, it looks like a calculator. The outsides are like real thick though, so I need to figure out what I want to do for those. All right, guys, I've done a bit of a destructive work on this here calculator, but I'm patching it up now and I think it will look awesome. So there is probably a lot better of a way to do literally everything I just did, but it still has not taken me too, too long. So here is the calculator. And I think I do want to just bring the sides out a little bit so it won't be as much as they previously were but it will just be a little little bit so let's do extrude along face normals just like that and i think just to give it a little bit of that character and more modern of a vibe i am going to go ahead and bevel these edges just these edges though something like that looks good to me the screen is too big and this gap here is a little too big so let me try to fix that as well 
All right, guys, there it is. The only thing left to do for the calculator would be grabbing each of these buttons and making them, uh, you know, a different piece. But I'm not going to bore you with all of that. So here is the office asset pack, okay? We got a calculator, a stapler, a clipboard, a pencil, and a pencil sharpener. That is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.